Finally, we've come to our fourth nine weeks big picture. Um, we will begin our training on day four, working through this recognizing images as visual text. Our focus for this nine weeks is on um, societal values and our skill focus is literary analysis and synthesis. And so this might be, um, for some of you, your first kind of um, jumping off point into synthesis writing. So we want to take some time to walk through that. Uh, they will read The Pedestrian by Ray Bradbury before they begin Fahrenheit 451. This uh, introduces them to some dystopian writing and it also shows them kind of uh, the style of Ray Bradbury. You're going to want to spend some time introducing Fahrenheit 451, reading part one with them um, to an extent. You just want to get them engaged in the text, get them uh, catch their interest. Uh, we look at the history teachers, just a short, short uh, poem, uh, Fahrenheit 451 part two on the third week. So you see that we're moving pretty quickly. They're going to have to read some outside of class as well. We focus on um, week three with the faces of Pharaoh. This is kind of a introduction to synthesis. We provide them with several pieces of information that they will synthesize together. Uh, they'll complete part two in that week. We're going to start some synthesis writing in week four. They're going to evaluate those different um, articles and images. And there's a very, very um, good guide that goes with that. They're also continuing to read. Uh, week five, we keep working on synthesis writing. Week six, we move into the poetry of phrases, activity. We have some multiple choice practice with 451. It comes from it's a, the first passage uh, is from earlier on in the book, but it's just a good practice, a good reminder. Plus, we all know that those last few weeks of school, um, we have testing in there. So you may be behind schedule. You may be ahead of schedule. But there's, there's some time built in here for those of you that are running behind because we know with the spring, we have many interruptions. Uh, sometimes we have pandemics. But this will kind of end. They'll, they'll finish up with Fahrenheit 451 in the fourth week. They'll work through that synthesis writing and begin writing that at the end of the fifth week. And if you need to push it into the sixth week, you can, of course. And then these are just multiple choice practices. Um, they should have finished the book. They should be very familiar with it. Uh, but the practices are going to be good practice, even for, for ACT and uh, the pre-ACT. Um, then they have an imaging activity. And then the Declaration of Independence is a, a rhetorical analysis. Um, that they can work on there until the end if time allows. And they have now successfully finished their uh, ninth grade year. And I am certain that they are stronger, more stronger students and more critical thinkers because of the work that you will put into providing this curriculum for them.